Welcome to Catherine's tutorial. In this video, we will learn about multiple allelism or multiple alleles. To begin with, the easiest exa example to explain uh, like what is alleles, we will go with one of the example which was listed under contrasting characters that was selected by Mendt. Height of an organism. The height of an organism is determined by a group of or a particular gene. Okay, so the gene determines the height of an organism. It may be in two contrasting form. The first one is tall, the other one is dwarf. So, the gene which is responsible for the formation of height will exhibit in two alternative form. One is tallness another one is shortness so here you can able to find two alternative forms of a gene so these alternative forms of a genes are known as alleles or allelomorphs then what is multiple allelism if the alternative forms are more than two that is referred to as multiple alleles or multiple allelism the best example to explain what is multiple allelism is nothing but ABO blood grouping in human being. Who discovered A, B and O blood group is none other than Carl Landsteiner during the year 1901. The blood group of A, B and O was identified or discovered by Carl Landsteiner during 1901. So that is why Carl Landsteiner is also known as father of blood grouping. And one more blood group is AB which was identified by Von D. Cassily and Sterling during the year 1902. Wandy Casely and Sterley identify another type of blood group known as AB. They are the students of Carl Landsteiner. Okay. So, it is because of their contribution we are learning about all four different types of blood group. Now, we will just learn about the genotype which exhibits in all four types of blood group. So, there are four different types of blood group as we already know. A, B, AB and O. The genotype to represent the blood group, we always use the alphabet I. So, most of in most of the terms in genetics, we use the uppercase to identify the dominant form of a particular gene, and we use small letters or lowercase to represent the recessive form of a gene. Here, we are using the genotype I to represent the blood group, and for a dominant type, we use I, for a recessive one, we use small I. Instead of this one, we can also use the alphabet L. To remember its contribution towards blood grouping, the genotype for blood group is also referred to as L. The chromosome which is responsible for, or the gene which is responsible for the formation of blood group is present in chromosome number 9. So the chromosome number 9 carries the genes. Here also I am just writing here to understand easily. The genes are present in chromosome number, chromosome number 9. There are four different types of blood groups. When you take the blood group A, remember one important thing. The blood group A blood group A is dominant B is also dominant AB exhibits co-dominance and O is recessive now we will just get back to this genotype for all these four different types of blood group when I take A blood group, the genotype to represent A, we write this IA, IA. 
or it may be written as I A I O. Can also be written as or it is also known as heterozygous condition, where you can find two different forms of a gene together. Here, as I told you already, the blood group A is dominant. So here, you can able to find this dominant has been expressed here. As we all know, O is recessive. The recessive cannot be expressed here. So the blood group expressed here is A blood group. When you go with another one, the genotype for B blood group is IB, IB or it can also be represented as IB, IO. Again, the same, if the genotypes, that is homozygous condition, they express this blood group. This particular genotype, as we already know, IO is recessive. So it, will not, it is not going to express its character. So IB is going to express its character. So here the B blood group has been expressed in an individual. When you take IB, I, uh, this AB blood group, the genotype is IA, IB. As we already know, A and B are dominant. So they express together. Okay, they undergo co-dominance. Okay, so they have been expressed together and they are resulting in co-dominance. When you go with the last blood group or the last one, what you have written here is O. The genotype for O is IO, IO. Or it can, can also be mentioned with small i also. Can also be written like this also. So IO, IO, double recessive. Eventually the blood group is O blood group. So this is how the genotypes have been given for different types of blood group. So to be very particular, how many types of blood group we have? We have nearly four different types of blood groups are determined. For example, for blood group A, you have two genotypes. For blood group B, you have two genotypes. For blood group A, B, you have one genotype. For blood group O, it is one genotype. So, totally six in number. So, to get or uh, to produce four different types of blood group, there are nearly six different types of alleles are present. So this mechanism is known as multiple allelism. So it exhibits in six different forms to produce four different types of blood group in a population. Now this is termed as multiple allelism. Now we will just learn in detail. It is about the sugar polymers which are present on the surface of RBC. There are a group of enzymes known as transferase enzymes secreted by different types of blood group. When you take the sugar polymers present on the surface of RBC. It is unique. It is different in each four different types of blood group. When you take blood group A. They produce a group of enzymes or a set of enzymes known as N-acetyl galactose amine. If the person has blood group B, he will produce galactose transferase enzyme O will not produce any transferase enzymes that forms the surface antigen. For example, if you start drawing the antigens or if you start listing about antigens and antibodies are present in uh, blood group A, B and O so that you can able to understand what is it. If you take blood group A, you can able to find the surface antigens okay the surface antigens are a type so in blood group a the surface antigens are a antigens in blood group b
they have B antigens on their surface. They are also known as sugar polymers that is present on the surface of RBC differentiates the blood group in human being. In case of O, so what is the surface antigen? The blood group O doesn't have any surface antigen. Okay, you can able to understand. Now we will just see in detail. The blood group of A individual will have A antigen on their surface and they will have B antibodies. The individual who possess B blood group, they will have surface antigens as B and their antibodies are A antibodies. Blood group O doesn't have any surface antigen, they will possess A and B antibodies, they will have both the antibodies. If you take AB blood group, these individuals will have both both B antigens and A antigens on their surface but there will be no antibodies in blood group AB. Okay. That is why they are known as universal donor and oh, sorry they are known as universal recipient and they are known as universal donor. We will just see in detail how this Enzymes are forming different types of blood group or differentiating uh, different types of blood group. We will just see uh, in detail. The immature RBCs as soon as they are produced from the bone marrow they are not actually mature. The immature RBCs will have a surface antigen known as H antigen. It is also known as precursor for the blood grouping. So they will have H antigen. Immature RBCs will possess H antigen on their surface. So what happens here? When the person has blood group A, they produce an enzyme known as N acetyl galactosamine enzyme and they add this enzyme towards H antigen and that results in the formation of blood group A. They add actually galactosamine to the H antigen when it has been added and they result in the formation of blood group A. In case of B, so what happens here? Again immature RBCs. Immature RBC surface as H antigen. When this H antigen are added with an enzyme known as galactose which is produced by the B blood group individual. When this H antigen has galactose enzyme this result in the formation of blood group B. So remember again each blood group they produce a transferase enzyme or they produce a sugar polymer. The blood group A produces a set of transferase enzyme known as N acetyl galactose amine and group B produces galactose transferase enzyme. All the immature RBCs, this immature RBCs will have H antigen. This H antigen is known as precursor for the blood grouping or for the formation of blood group. Okay. So this H antigen when it is mixed along with this particular transferase enzyme it results in blood group A. When this H antigen is mixed with this transferase enzyme produced by the B blood group and the blood group results in B. In case of O, O blood group is known as null. 
Why it is known as null? Because O blood group is not going to produce any kind of proteins or any transferase enzyme. It is totally absent here. So H antigen remains as such. There will be no changes. Blood group is known as null because it doesn't synthesize any kind of protein. Okay. So by the next video, we will learn about RH blood grouping, RH incompatibility and hypothesis based on RH blood grouping. Thank you.